uh, my co-panelists, they have given their opinion. Uh, most of them, they are from the corporate sector. My view, uh, since I am from uh, police service, would be my perspective may be different. I am thankful to uh, uh, FICI. They have taken out a nice uh, risk assessment survey. This survey, if you see, most of the issues, for example, strikes, closures, unrest, crime, information and cyber insecurity, intellectual property rights, intellectual property theft, accidents, workplace violence and sexual harassment, terrorism and insurgency, and even natural hazards. At the ground level, ultimately, police handles this issue. And the study says about the status. I wish they also would say about why it is so, why there is so much conflict in the society. And being a police officer, we are generally at the receiving end. We see other side of the aspect also. The fact remains that there is a huge amount of conflict in the society. There is a disparity because of which all these are the, uh, you know, symptom which are on the ground, whereas there is a main reason is what. So this, what I believe is this, whether our economic policies, maybe uh, GDP is increasing per capita, rate would be, be income would be better, but is, he, is it also doing something to remove the disparity, to reduce it? This is the main issue which we face as a police officer. In most of these slum areas, the unorganized colony in Delhi where the crime rate is very high. So this conflict and the risk, it is overall because this also affects the political and governance its instability. And beyond this, whether the institutions which are handling this issue are capable to handle properly or not. This is also one important aspect. Because ultimately, our per lakh number of police personnel, as compared to the Western countries with which we compare quite often, is okay or not. These are the issues I want to just flag. And unfortunately, despite everything, uh, if you see the strikes, whether it's a coal sector or whatever sector, ultimately, the handling will be done by a police officer and the labor laws and the protracted uh, legal uh, battle between the owner and the uh, uh, laborers. Ultimately, all these issues come to place. And what I wanted to say also here, important issue is that this uh, corporate social responsibility we have based upon the Companies Act of 2013. The Schedule 7 has highlighted, enumerated the area in which the corporate sector can also help. But unfortunately, this law enforcement agencies, particularly police, is not in that. If you talk about cyber crime, we handle cyber crime in Delhi police. There are a huge amount of cases. There are huge amount of complaints come to us. We have a cyber cell. We work on that. The training, as one of my co-panelists raised, the issue is an important issue. But what we find is we have poor enforcement by banking institutions with regard to KYC. That is, know your customer scheme. In most of the Nigerian spam cases, Nigerian fraud cases, there, were, there would be someone who would have opened his account somewhere in distant part without any proof, without any warranty, and somebody would pay to a particular uh, bank account number, it would go there and within no time somebody would withdraw money from the ATM. Reasons whatever. This one important issue which we come to a dead end in most of the investigation. Although there is a RBI's guidelines about KYC, but the KYC is a very poorly implemented kind of thing. Another issue is what we face Broadly, a major issue is that most of these frauds, the server should be in United States or U Europe. And if you want details, you can't get the details. You have to issue letter rogatory. That's very time consuming. 
and unfortunately we don't have any screening system or we don't have any own server so that we can take immediately all relevant informations to investigate the cases. These two issues, even this WhatsApp, they never uh, respond. Whatever, sometimes you will see very, uh, uh, such kind of uh, viral on the media about uh, communal issues, about somebody's, uh, you know, which affects the general peace of the society. But we don't get any support on these issues from most of these uh, servers, and we don't have any servers that face that we have, that we face major main problem because of that. About the issues, why it happens, about particularly cyber crime, we also have issues like malwares, which comes to your system and then all your data, all your uh, pin codes, etc. That go to the person who is trying to get into your system, hack your data and use the, you, uh, and take the final, uh, money out of your account. Many issues are related to that, account takeovers are there, email spoofing is there, data theft there, ATM scheming is there, and there is a point of sale in which on the way, the schemers, they make a copy of your debit card and they take the money from your account. Then there is a telecaller system in which uh, uh, bank representatives, former bank representative, they pose as they are still working, say with the HDFC or something, they will try to get data from you. And then they would take out all the, all the money from your account. We also request to the particularly banking sectors, quite often we have meetings with the RBI, that they should organize large scale awareness campaign particularly for this kind of cheating in which somebody sends a message in your email that you have got a lottery, Coca-Cola lottery or Samsung lottery. And people is still, they believe that, whereas they have not put a single penny for that lottery, but they believe that they have got 60,000 euro in that lottery. We tell them quite often that this is an issue of awareness. The response sometimes we get is that we are put on our website, but how many of us we know about the website and we go and check from the website that this is the status, we should not get into such investment. Very educated people also sometimes they come. They get very easily cheated on this lottery scam, which is, we generally call it in a Nigerian fraud scam. There is a requirement of large scale campaign on that issue. And then only, at least people should know this is not correct. Then there are people who pose as LIC representative. LIC representative and since they have, somehow they get the data from the LIC, maybe insider, maybe someone involved, they will know your account number. And that creates a confidence in you that yes, he knows my account number and he would be right. And he will give you some vague kind of offer. You have got this much of bonus money, you can get it, provided you pay gradually this amount, this amount, and ultimately, you won't find them. So, this is also issues which is, although there is a, uh, when the case is registered, there would be investigation, and of course, that takes time, but there is a requirement of awareness campaign by all these financial institutions, because the common men, they are affected largely by this. So, they, so the strategy also one has to make and I, I would request that FIKI should also conduct a study why this conflict, that is conflict is there and why this, these are the risk area and whether the agencies, the enforcement, enforcement agencies working to handle this risk area, how capable are they and if not, what are the ways to enable them. You have heard my co-panelists, they are saying about the strategy to regarding safe investment or how to protect your data from stealing or going to someone who can misuse that and overall fraud issues about the business. Of course, with the internet, 
you know, the main means of communication, it has become very difficult to protect it because whatever step you take, the people who will misuse it will take one step further. And the distance is not there and our system is still are <coughs> not capable because most of the servers, they operate somewhere from Nigeria, somewhere from United States and the, the, that problem comes up with regard to taking information from them. <coughs>